So you all know I pride myself in giving you the honest truth of what women want versus what they say they want. Even if it's uncomfortable for me to hear sometimes. Don't worry, I take one for the team. But if you're looking for guidance in your dating life, you can now apply to work with me and the link in the description. So you know this whole thing about never taking advice from a fish? Okay, well, you can go back to your side of the internet now because this is for the grown men. Listen up, because I have some pearls of wisdom for you. So one thing that I see a lot of men don't quite understand is the subject of pacing and creating an emotional connection with a woman before escalating to the bedroom. But before you all click away and say, whatever, Sarah, she just doesn't have genuine burning desire. Let me elaborate a bit on that. Emotional connection can mean a lot of different things, but a lot of the times men assume this is talking about rainbows and unicorns and it has to be all lovey and romance novel like. Yes, that's one way to create an emotional connection with a woman, but there is another way. What a lot of men miss is that emotional connection can be one that's built entirely around sexual desire. We see it time and time again. Women will sleep with a guy right away and she'll say, I don't, I don't know why I did that. I just felt a connection. And no, it's not because of money. I coach clients who have millions of dollars and they don't know how to properly court a woman. So please stop using that excuse. Money does not buy everything. A woman can feel multiple different connections with a man. And one could be that you made her experience a certain tingly feeling in all the right places. You made her feel naughty or you made her let down her guard and she thinks she's thinking the dirtiest of thoughts that she has ever had. And she just is feeling super vulnerable. That's the connection that we are experiencing. So how do you do that, Sarah? Let me tell you. First off, for a woman, just talking about sex can be sexy. It's a turn on for us because it, when it comes out of our mouth and gets spoken out loud and you hear it and respond, we kind of volley back and forth and we start to imagine doing those things with you. Our sexual arousal template starts to get turned on before you even know it. We are into the conversation because you might be telling us what you would like to do to us. Or maybe it's asking us what are some things that we've never tried that we might be open to. Where's one place that you've always wanted to have sex, but have been too scared to get caught? That's a good one. There have actually been studies when you say the word sex, a man's arousal template lights up for the next eight hours and he won't stop thinking about it until he takes care of himself. That testosterone, it makes you more of the initiator and it always will. But where I see men mess this up, is that you don't know how to sexually pace the conversation. They are way too direct and way too explicit and too soon. And women aren't wired the same way. It's a bit of a turn off because it gives creepy vibes. Kind of like sending a D pick. Luckily, I've only gotten one of those in my life, but that's one too many. So let me give you an example of not understanding how to pace. I was dating a very handsome gentleman and I mean, we were in the beginning stages and he decides to send me a website where you can buy submissive and Dom lingerie with chokers and chains and proceeds to tell me that he has a shopping cart ready for me. Excuse me, sir. Can you, um, maybe take me out to dinner first? Maybe lead with, Hey, how are you? I'm, I'm thinking about you right now. Yeah, no, not attractive. And in fact, the message that that sends to a woman is, your piece of ass and I want to do dirty things to you. No offense to the women who are down for that. You go girl. But most girls like a little ramp up. Now how he should have handled this and I've been totally into it is first start the conversation with, Hey, I was just thinking about your favorite color. And I saw something that you might like. I can't wait to show it to you next time I see you. This creates mystery intrigue she'll probably bug you for the rest of the day wondering what it was. Emily Nagoski, sexual researcher, states that women have to clearly see a situation as erotic for them to be turned on. But men have this on and off switch. For us, it's a slow build. 
He might have even taken a snapshot of a part of the picture and played a little game with me like, hey, guess what this is? Women love these little games. It creates mystery, intrigue, and desire. And now she has to use her imagination as to, oh my gosh, like what on earth is he sending me? And you say, well, I'll show you when we get together. That's how he could have handled it. Pacing, mystery, intrigue, all the things that make a woman want to get it on. So when you want to connect with a woman on that level, subtlety and innuendo are going to be your best friend. If you can hint at something sexual and make us picture something dirty in our minds without directly stating it, that's way more attractive than being too obvious about it. So here are some of their examples and types of statements you could use to tease her a bit and to pace the conversation. If she compliments you on your shirt or gives you a kind of a side eye look, you can actually make that sexual. Are you uh, hitting on me right now? <sighs> Calm down, we're in public. Just wait till we get home. I knew you had a naughty side just waiting to come out. Asking questions that are a bit sexual in nature, but not full blown like asking her about her favorite position. Once again, men have the on and off switch. And once it gets turned on, oh man, you are off to the races and we're still back in the stables. But questions like this, for example, have you ever been uh, skinny dipping? Or what are your thoughts on public displays of affection? What's one place if no one was around where you would consider getting it on? Remember, you're not necessarily talking about you and her, you're just asking in general. What I said in the beginning with this emotional connection is that that is being built right when you ask those questions and have those conversations. All of the subtleties and the way that you introduce sexuality into the conversation is how you build connection. And if she jumps onto the conversation, it's a sign that she's on the same page as you and ready to escalate things to another level. Not necessarily sex, but her acceptance and participation indicates that there is a deep sexual attraction building. To see proof of this, simply pick up any woman's romance novel. It'll be the best $5 that you have ever spent. What makes this category so popular among women is that it's all about words and our imagination. You'll notice how things always start off slowly and then that sexual tension builds and it's gradually implied and teased without being explicitly talked about. But as the tension builds, the sensuality starts to become more direct until it reaches the tipping point at which things literally explode into some of the dirtiest sexual scenarios that you can imagine. This is what we respond to and this is how we fantasize about things going down when we meet a man. I mean, porn is made for men where, you know, barely two words are exchanged and two actors are uh, talking about the secretary and the businessman and then they're pounding each other the next moment. All right, so remember, use your words and our imagination to turn us on and you'll be golden. That's it today for me. My name is Sarah Dawn and I'm a dating and attraction specialist for men. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. Hit that like button if you want to support me and I will see you on the next one.